I'm a liar and a cheat, and you're so clever. Look, I think the issue here is just that you're unusually fascinated by falling. What normal person actually wants to fall infinitely? I figured the hole was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. Also, he didn't kill me, which is hilarious. Look, uh, things got a little heated there. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly infinite? Mostly. You, then go ahead and press the teleport button to warp up to the top of the hole and we can move on. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Yes, Great. you have to teleport now, up. I'm very ex- Oh, for heaven. You see, I was right. The problem is you. The problem is that you like holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, 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 no. You have a weird sort of... Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this I time? I still love this I so help much. I feel like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. Gosh, how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where... Wow. Okay. Yes. I'm starting to become extremely certain that the hole is not only not infinite, but that it's growing steadily less and less infinite. Yep. I suspect that I'm starting to hit the point where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep, even by the lax nope. overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Well, there it is. The shame of my lie has come. How is this still appealing to you? I know you're obsessed with <laughs> holes, but at this I'm gonna depth, try the uh, the Sunny Parable Eight. Scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? Want to see if that works? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have to move on from this. Oh, it doesn't work. Yeah, yeah I, hmm. I remember. Is the um teleport button not working? You sure? No, it's not. Well, I mean, I really don't <laughs> have an explanation. It was working just a moment ago. Yeah, it's gonna go nuts nothing. afterwards, right? Well, I suppose, uh, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. It's I want to see if the, the part where, like, you, you, you glow into different hole, colors and you can swap, like, your looks and stuff, if it, if it changes with the bucket. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the hole have a wonderful rest of eternity together. Yeah, eventually he comes back. The crazy part is, like, I could just use the bucket to get out of the hole. Or, I mean, I guess, in fact, I could do a whole bunch of stuff, right? Like, I could just... Yeah, the hole is gonna... Yeah. So, the part that, like, the hole goes back down to infinity and, like... I can swap the settings and stuff. That's, I, I want to see if it changes for the, the bucket. He didn't have any new dialogue though. The entire time we were doing this, he didn't have any new dialogue for the bucket itself. So maybe, maybe the bucket doesn't do anything.
<laughs> the puppies is pretty good. Oh, the bucket doesn't change. Call this song the whole jam. Love it. Stanley, Stanley, Stanley. Oh, good, you're awake. It seems you had sort of dozed off there, drifting away into dreamland. But we can't have that, Stanley, because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You don't want to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really, truly focused on the hole? Oh, come on. From the looks of things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole, and I'm looking forward to all of them. Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. To the pit. I was going to say, like, it's not about to just restart again. Yeah. Oh, it boosts me back here. I don't want to be back here, though. Yeah, I don't want to be back here. I want to be uh, back at the start. Because I want to bring the bucket gone. to the countdown mean? room. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had... As Stanley lifted his bucket, he felt a connection to all buckets everywhere. This adventure, he decided, was for all... Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Still no one was here. Stanley like, I want to go to the countdown room with the bucket and see what happens, Perhaps and then... Boss's office, um, to staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. I think there's like one ending I didn't get from the, the, the doors, the, uh, the blue and red door. Office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Oh, I forgot. Uh, damn it. Crushed by the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire if not for the soothing presence of the bucket. But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. The was cat walking in? in all along? Was the bucket guiding Which him? one? Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. I tried it. I, I already did it with the bucket and without. The catwalk ending, is it the one where you jump off of the... Um, the elevator raced downward, plummeting towards of the, an the platform. Fate. It would be all Onto the could do is that the one you're talking about? Together, if not for the bucket. Because you go into a room where so it says him, like uh, no buckets past this point and I had a bucket in, in my hands and it did something. Of uncertainty, he would be all right. The bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. Is the tree cool though? Maybe something changes? Stanley and the bucket walk straight ahead through the large door that ran with or without the bucket. Mind control facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered to themselves. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the Bucket in shock. Both? Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. The bucket had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! 
He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. Okay. Never. He squeezed the bucket. So we'll press the on button, but this time we'll have the bucket the with us, which should do something, right? Point, it should have like a different ending. No one. Oh, the, the battle's ready. The we'll, we'll do it um, soon. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the what happens if you have the bucket? The past began to sink in. Stanley decided that this and the bomb goes off, the right? Like, is this going to do anything? The bucket jumped in and pressed the button to turn on the controls. Oh, the bucket Stanley did it this time. <laughs> in horror. Had this been the bucket's plan all along? To take over the machine and claim the power for itself? Oh, that's hilarious. How could the bucket have betrayed him like this? Stanley was prepared to throw the bucket away in disgust when suddenly an image appeared upon the enormous screen. Birds. Silly. Silly birds. The control what? buttons became active <laughs> again. Oh. Stanley flipped through one video of silly birds after another, and then it dawned on him. This wasn't a mind control facility at all. It was a facility for monitoring and surveilling silly birds all over the world. The mind controls were only a facade to disguise its true intentions. Had the bucket known this all along? Stanley marveled at the metal genius in his hands, the one who had pointed him towards this incredible discovery. Stanley and the bucket never found freedom because they spent the rest of their lives here in this place, living through <laughs> live streams of the silliest birds imaginable. That's all they of did all forever? Of the possible paths his life could have taken, this one oh my was God. surely the best. And Stanley was happy. That, it's the best ending, true. That's awesome. Okay, we'll go we'll go without the All bucket and we'll try to cat gone. the catwalk again. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. That's what you meant, right? You meant like here and then jump down? Stanley was so bad right? at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I, I realize there? that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero no? consideration for others? Are you Where's that the convinced that about I want them? something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. Or oh, when you jump you down the catwalk in the uh, Look, MCF? Let me, prove it. let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. So I do... I do... I think I do blue then red, right? For the, uh... Yeah, blue then red. Yeah. Aha. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is, is this all the these one? choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. I, I think we already got this one. It's killing us, Stanley. I just, I wanted to stop. I would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Yeah, yeah, we've we've had that one before. Yeah, we, we got that one today, in fact. Hmm. What 
do we want? So that's a true happiness ending. Okay. So let's go to the uh, the MCF. How long was I sitting there? Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? Centuries? Did something crucial happen while my senses were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley, wa Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. That kind <laughs> of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Yeah, we, we got the music. Please. Please, game. Feeling soothed and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into the opened passageway. Yeah, let's go. Let's go all the way down. Let's try jumping off the catwalk again and see what happens. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Aha! You've made it to the bottom of the Mind Control Facility. Welcome! You see, back when the Stanley Parable first no, launched same in thing. 2013, getting to the bottom of the mind control facility was a bug that we simply didn't catch during development. And you all sent us lots of photos. Yeah, it's the same thing. I do want to see if, what happens if, if I close on the game and reopen it, though. Does it does it actually for real increase a number to four? Or does it actually do it? It does. Stanley's tiny. Oh my god. I'm gonna go with Tiny Tiny Tiny's boyfriend. Boyfriends. So it does do something. Okay, let's let's I want to at least try and see if I can get to eight. <laughs> yes, that's exactly why I picked it. Yep, precisely. Journey, wait, uh. I'm going to go with uh, Hidden hidden Cowboy.
<laughs> Look at the start. Oh, I love it. That's actually hilarious. I love the fact that they, they programmed this into the game. That's so cool. We'll, we'll try to go to eight. Half employee, half gun. <laughs> oh, it's good. That's actually good. Okay. It, it's it's the it, it's the cat and the dog. They're friends. They're friends now. Stanley Parable 7. What is that one going to be? Um, dream dreams of ice cream. I love it. That's the, that's the last one. Dude. Atomic pencil? That sounds perfect. Oh my god, you were right! Oh, hold on. What's this? Eight. 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 The Stanley Parable Eight? No, 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 no. This doesn't look right at all. The Stanley Parable takes place in an office building. There are doors and branching paths. This is just a button that says Eight. Where did the Stanley Parable go? What the? That's a controller with a stapler? A shark? Uh, like some scotch tape? And then like, it says 888 on it. And, and then employee 427. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. Eight, 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 eight. Is that it? Eight. Well, eight I'm looking around and I really eight, can't find the game anywhere. Eight, no boss's office eight, or mind control eight, facility or any eight, of that. Literally just eight, this eight button. Eight, and what's worse eight, is that you seem to be having eight, a better time with this eight, nonsense game eight, than with the story <laughs> I wrote for you. Eight, I'm actually a little insulted. Eight. eight oh my eight, God, it's so good. Eight. Eight. Eight, well, I don't know what happened eight, to the Stanley Parable eight, or what the eight button is, eight, but apparently you're having eight, a riveting time eight, with it. And frankly, eight, I don't even want to eight, pander to someone who finds eight, this enjoyable. So with eight, that, I guess just eight, go ahead eight, and enjoy the eight, Stanley eight, Parable eight. 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 Is eight, he going to come back and say something? Eight. 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 eight this is ridiculous. Eight. 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 That's the eight, dumbest thing ever. Eight. Eight. Why why is this eight, a thing? Eight. 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 Oh, eight, that's crazy. Eight. Come eight, on. <laughs> eight. Is he is he gonna come eight, back though? Was that it? Eight. 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 <laughs> eight. 
Eight. Eight. Eight. Eight. Very much so. Very much so. Eight. 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 Yes eight. to what? Eight. eight. He's coming back or yes, that's eight. it? Eight. 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 Yeah, the end eight. is never the end. The eight is never the eight. It's never the eight. Oh my god. Eight. 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 Yes, I guess that's it. That's it, right? Is it? Let's see if I can, uh, Try Sunny Parable 9. There's actually new content for real. We'll see. I have a giant thing in my hands. It's potato. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> let's let's try let's try nine. Stanley's tiny snake. Day out. No, snake. Okay. You you have a okay. <laughs> Stanley's tiny snake. I love the medieval music too, that's great. This is the story of a man named Stanley. All of his co-workers were gone. Is there what actually new content or are you just Stanley trolling? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. It is. It seems like it's the same thing. No troll? What do I need to do to get to the new content? Do I pick up the bucket? Go to the new content place.
Oh, I, I've already scanned the QR code. I've done that. Yeah, th that we've already done. Yeah. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever mm -hmm. the Stanley Parable 2. So what's yes, new here? You see, isn't this far superior to a measly port with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully fledged sequel. An entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking You'll for. You'll see. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally mm -hmm. spring up around them. It'll all work itself out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Do we need to go someplace specific? 344, that's interesting. Where, where do I need to go? To the exit? Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. Yes? So exit, okay. All right, have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready to move on now? So Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Yeah. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort <laughs> of... Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay. It's like worse yes. and worse every yes. time, too. This is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. Is it after this? Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. 
They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, mm -hmm. well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course, with respect, with care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Take a look. It brings me back to two. Where's a new contents potato? It's the same. We've seen this before. the same thing even and even reset us wait does that mean they reset us for real like if you if you re reboot the game again does it does it go back to three that's new from three and four i mean yes it is <laughs> it true that's very true can't really argue with that hold on 